<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my room and today we're doing a Q&A. Part two. Yeah, part two. So it's good to be back. Yeah. It's been a little while. I do apologize. I think that I expected us to have these videos out <laughs> within like the first I don't know, week or so, yeah. because we did them really easily on trail. <laughs> yeah. We just kind of had a routine. But I think getting back into the swing of things, getting back into um, normal everyday life in the Matrix has been um, a little bit more busy than yeah. I think that we anticipated. And also, too, I think I've just wanted to embrace being back with the other four. Yeah. And the four-leggers as well. So <laughs> yeah. I apologize that, you know, it's taken us a little bit longer to get this part two out. Um, and we are working on what was in our bag video and some of the questions that had to come about with gear. Yeah. So we'll get that out as well. Um, but for now, we have another big random list of questions that you guys have sent via yeah. the community post, also private messages and yeah. emails. And so... Um, I don't think that we're going to get to them all. There are, are hundreds. Yeah. And I think we'd have to do like 12 part videos. And yeah. I honestly don't think you guys care about much about <laughs> so far answers. Yeah. So. We may do shorts every once in a while just answering like one question. So. Oh, are we? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we might do that too. Um, but in, in an effort to kind of wrap up the AT journey, I think we'll get started with part two and yeah. answering some of your questions. Yeah, here we go. Let's get started. Okay, so question mom. Oh, my bad. How is your feet? Um, my feet are fine. I think I'm still feeling, I still have the hiker hobble a little bit, to be yeah. honest. My feet <laughs> themselves are fine. Um, my Achilles is still pretty sore. So every, you know, after sitting for a while, um, I do have to kind of uh warm up my my Achilles really yeah um, and kind of stretch that out a bit still to this day um, my knees are a little bit sore still so that's just a work in progress I think in healing what about yours I'm perfectly fine I only got like sore feet when it was like I think during the smokies when it was really rocky but mm. other than that I didn't have much feet but feet or foot pain in a while yeah no you your, your shoes really work well for you yeah um, yeah, they fit perfectly. Smokies, or I think, you know, we both would have some, some foot pain or um, fatigue, you know, at yeah. usually what, what mile did we decide we were like, okay, we're starting to feel the feet, like 13, 14 is when we kind of started to feel like my feet are kind of starting to hurt. Yeah. And then it would also, 14. yeah, then it would also depend on the terrain too. Yeah. Because if it was really rocky, then it might have been earlier than that. But Or if it was just straight up, your Achilles would be more sore. Yeah. Yeah. My Achilles were. Or straight down, your knees would hurt more. So yeah. it doesn't really, it's kind of like depends on the day. Yeah. And part of the game. I mean, yeah. Part, part of the game. It's part of long distance hiking. Or yeah. Backpacking. So that's our answer. Okay. Question one, Mama Bear, how much weight did you lose? Um, I lost. I started at 117. I think the lowest I got was 105, 104 was it? I, I don't remember. So I think between 10 and 12 pounds, which doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people, but yeah. when you don't have a lot to lose, it's a lot. And I know a lot of you saw it in my face. I'm actually back up to 115, 116 now. Yeah. So Yay! You gained it pretty fast. Too. Yeah, yeah, I did because <laughs> there was still hiker hunger. There's still hiker hunger, you guys. And I know that wasn't necessarily a question, but yeah, like I'm still eating a lot. I'm still like really hungry. I haven't had it since like since we like the day we have the trail yeah not me i'm like we call it bps in our family <laughs> bottomless pit syndrome where you're just like i'm so hungry so yeah but luckily i do have a fast metabolism and so it's not it's not really been an issue yeah okay so this one is for me question two little bear little bear i remember in one of your earlier vlogs you mentioned being an introvert did you miss being around other people your age or do you think it would have been beneficial to have a third person around your age to hike with you and your mom um honestly no we had a lot of best friends on trail the clean clue cool breeze so if you see this hi we love you cool breeze yeah. and alice and ben so mm -hmm. the general I'm, so many people so a many lot people. of people. trail buddha oh yeah God, so many people a lot of people but a lot of people call me an old soul so i'm pretty good with older people and younger people so yeah 
No, I think I'm fine. And plus, I was talking to my siblings probably every other day, if not twice if not a day. two or three times a day when we had yeah. signal. Yeah, for sure. So, no, I don't think it would be really beneficial, but it probably would be nice to have one of my siblings there. Yeah, it would have been fun. Yeah, yeah it would have been fun. It, I mean, it just would have been fun to have, you know, another one of our family members with yeah. us. Which may have aided a little bit in the homesickness. Yeah. Just to have another part of us or half the family with us but yeah. either way yeah okay. it is what it is right yeah uh next question question three when did both of you had a wait can I spell out how do you say that again acclimated Thank wait you. this one yeah acclimated. Yeah. when did both of you when did you both <laughs> know you had acclimated to the trail gotten used to it trail legs and so on so I would say probably week three is when like I was fully like in the game. Yeah, say. it wasn't that soon for me. I would say week three, I was probably starting to notice a marked difference in my physical capabilities. Um, you know, as far as like mental and emotional, like we were in the game from day one and we were yeah. super excited, but I started to notice that I was able to talk more you know, going uphill, we were able to do bigger <laughs> miles that I didn't yeah. feel like I was going to die. Um, so I, I think I started to feel it around week three. I don't know. That's a great question. I'd have to go back and look at the videos because I think it was more about where we were, which I can't remember right now. It's crazy how, how it's only been, what, five, six weeks maybe since we got off trail? Yeah. But it feels like the whole journey was so long ago. Yeah. And I'm going in back and watching some of the vlogs here and there, and honestly not as much as I thought we would because we've, we've been busy. Yeah. Um, and I'm remembering things that I've completely forgotten. So I don't know. I think it was... I think it was a little bit into North Carolina when I started to really feel like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm shocked. Like, I'm getting yeah. my trail legs now. Yeah, so maybe week four or five was when it really started to make a, a marked difference. All right. Question four. If you, would, if you were going to do the trail again, what from the beginning would you do differently? Gear, starting date, places to stay, food, and whatever comes to whatever comes else to mind. What would I do differently? Do you know? I have an idea. Uh, if I were to do anything differently, I would probably stop eating less tuna. <laughs> I got tired of it so fast. I think you just would have replaced it with something else you got tired of. I mean, that's just part of the difficulty and the, and the struggle of yeah. you just get tired of eating trail food. Also, the other day you ordered this like little cup thing. It's called pho and we got the beef kind. It's super light and it's really good and we didn't pack it out. Yeah, we eat pho <laughs> quite often. I don't think about that. Yeah, we eat pho quite often in real life. I don't know why we went straight to ramen. I think because that's just such a common trail food and everybody yeah. had ramen, but we didn't think like, hey, why don't we get pho? I don't know. Yeah. No. Um, I think I think I answered that a little bit in the last video. I think my biggest mistake was even planning a through hike to begin with, because I think um, look, it, it, and it wasn't like I was in denial. It was like I just didn't realize it. I don't know. It's it's hard. I'm still processing it, you guys. To be honest, I'm, I really am still processing. But I think that recognizing the season that we're in, yeah. recognizing how much, honestly, my two girls. Um, Ava and Jaden both still need me a lot. Obviously, my son needs me. Obviously, my husband needs me, but in but in different ways. I think that I just would have planned a lash to begin with. Yeah. Um, it's not, and I know we're going to get backlash for this answer, but whatever. Um, it's not whether or not we could finish it. We I can. think we proved that with almost 800 miles, but, you know, some of you believe that, some of you don't, and that's okay. You're entitled to your opinions. Yeah. But it was more about the idea of, um, I don't think it was a great idea to be gone for that long from yeah. our family. Um, six months is a long time. Yeah. So I think that that would have been what I would have done differently. It would have been that I would have just planned a lash. Um, as far as like gear, our gear was solid and on point. Yeah. Um, I promise that video will come. Um, what else? Let's see. Like. When we left, I I still like mid March. I think that was great. Yeah, we had was, some cold days, yeah. right? Our, I think our first day got down to like 
19. Yeah, that was inside the tent. Inside. I don't even, it had to be at least four or five degrees, probably colder outside because the thermometer was inside our tent and our tent does really well at retaining some heat. Jeez, um, that's a hard day. What? The day one. Oh, yeah. Well, I, day one wasn't hard. It was the waking day, up day two. Jeez. Because we had yeah. to walk and pack up and that we were like, whoa. I remember um, just being so stiff and then I also remember being yeah. just like, a tad bit agitated because we had we had had our gloves on mm -hmm. and I had to take out the sticks but I couldn't take out the taste with my gloves on so yeah it, doing everything with gloves was difficult but yeah. doing them without it in you know what like 16 17 18 degree weather was not an option either so oh. I think we'd still leave in mid-march yeah maybe for gear changes maybe different gloves because I think you were going to send a different pair. yeah I just yeah I mean no, I don't know if there's any ones that really work well or that are yeah. uh, provide enough dexterity to do the things that you need to do and keep your hands warm. But yeah, yeah that might be one. All right, okay. move on. Okay, we finished that one. Did you attempt any homeschooling whilst on trail or has school has been totally on hold? So no, did not do any homework, although I literally learned from the trail at least two mm -hmm. to three times a day every single day so i have got a lot of wins with some from the trail but mm -hmm. no i didn't do any homework on trail but the only work you did was duolingo so duolingo. You, did, yeah. you still did that every single day so it was yeah. a little bit of traditional academics i guess you could say but yeah you you let the trail teach you and it, it had a whole lot to say didn't it yeah, yeah. okay did any of the youtube negativity affect this decision at all no oh affect the decision of whether we come home or not no yeah no. i mean no because to be honest like we don't really care no <laughs> i mean um i i will say i am surprised so i want to say that there are a few of you and i only give them a few seconds and there's your 15 seconds of fame um uh. a few of you are just really mean and i don't know fully even as someone who studied human behavior for over 25 years at this point in my life it still boggles me to know that some people can just be downright hateful ugly and mean to complete yeah. strangers and so i know that that has a complete reflection on you not on us and i know i've explained and talked to you about that i mean it's something within your heart not ours yeah. So I do sincerely pray for some of you that have just chosen to be very mean and ugly and hurtful to us. I'm thankful that you're strong enough to not let that bother you or to yeah. affect you. Um, but as far as coming home, no. I mean, it, that we hiked our own hike from yeah. day one until we did. the day, I think, 84? What was yeah. that last day? So, I think 84. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, that was really it. Yeah. So. Do you think if you're going to see your family routinely like one weekend one weekend a month it would have made a difference not blaming the family obviously just saying in a perfect world yeah right i mean think, yes. think about this in a perfect world we would have had the whole family yeah. all four of them plus the dogs ellie the cat like if they yeah. could have like mm -hmm. followed us and and visited us you know and and i don't know you know how some people will have a like a support vehicle and so they'll see them, you know, whether it's every night for camp or every day. Heck yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah, that would have been amazing. Except when they had to leave. Well, I mean, if it, if we would have known they were coming once a month, yeah. th those those months or those weeks change. were so fast, right? Mm -hmm. I think 100% that would have made a huge difference. Because yes, we still would have missed them. Yeah. But they would have been such a big part of the journey because i can yeah. imagine if they came and visited they probably would hike a little bit with us we'd be able to you know spend a few days with them uh, for me yes but unfortunately that's not even remotely close to being feasible with my husband's job yeah and then with you know the other three kids it just wasn't yeah wasn't feasible but but yeah that might have been a huge difference what were your top three highlights of the journey I mean, I'm just going to go high level here instead of thinking of like very specific things because there were probably hundreds for me of like specific yeah. moments or times. Um, I think the people, I know we said that before. Yeah, the people. Um, 
the sense of adventure of yeah. just you know where are we going next and the not the fear of the unknown the excitement of the unknown that yeah. was so cool for me to be like I don't I've read about this I've seen this on YouTube or um, I know I've seen a little bit about the hostel that we're going to or that view we're coming up to but then experiencing it was just to me that was so cool it was just something new every single day it was so stimulating and super cool yeah so the people the view or the sense of adventure and then I think the third would be um, our experience together yeah knowing yeah. like the whole time that we're doing this together and that we're never going to forget this and that this yeah. will live in our hearts and our memories and on youtube or you know videos forever was really cool yeah and the times that we really dug deep together because there were times where it was really hard it wasn't because it didn't happen because it was hard it wasn't because we didn't want to show it I don't know. I feel like I was super honest. I feel like on the on the days that we talked about, you know, the highlights and, and the character builders, yeah. I feel like I was like, yeah, I almost died today or, <laughs> you know, or like the, the day for Max Patch. If any of you that want to criticize about not showing the realism of the trail, go back and watch the Max Patch video. You were crying. Yeah. I mean, and you were crying because you were overwhelmed with beauty. Yeah. I was crying because... <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> it was hard. And you pushed me to do something that I didn't think I was capable of in that moment. And so, yeah, I mean, I think that is the third thing that was really the highlight to me is to accomplish those things and to push ourselves yeah. to that next level together. Yeah. What about you? What are your highlights? So, obviously, the people, everyone, if, like all my best friends are watching, mm -hmm. the people, uh, I would say being hiker trash. I know that's like, like <laughs> such a weird one, but like when you guys are, when you're just like walking into Target or even if you're going to Target, you can just like, you're just like proudly walking around yeah. with your backpack with the AT sign in your bag. Yeah. And like people know you, so like that's yeah. like being hiker trash with your friends too. I think at first I was kind of embarrassed because, you know, we, we tried to be clean in yeah. our real life, right? But then it got to the point where like that, it was just expected in the yeah. trail town that you like showed up as hiker trash. But yeah, we're, we were proud of it. We're like, yeah, we stink. <laughs> okay, so the people, hiker trash, and definitely the experience. I'll literally never forget that. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a fourth one, but my top memories are definitely taking Ellie out of my backpack and showing you guys every night. Mm -hmm. That was like, that was a big one for me. Yeah, that was cool. That was a really cool addition, I think. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. You said a couple of times that you had a lot of significant conversations in the days leading up to getting off trail. Did you both want to stop equally or is it more more than one than other? I'm being nosy, but as a but here with a parent of two teens, myself, I'm interested in to see how the dialogue went. Did you argue and then target through or was it an easy communication together on being done with the hike? What do you think? Uh we did not argue. We never really argued. No, we really don't. Unless we were hangry. We were both hangry. <laughs> then we, then. A couple of times we would get snippy with each other when we were hangry, yeah. But, yeah. but about that, no. I mean, it was... We didn't really yell at each other. I feel like it was just a very organic conversation that... It was like, you done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was like, that's kind of how it went. Yeah. There, were, there was no arguing. There was no... no. It, it was just sharing feelings and it was just, um, I think it just unfolded organically and the more we talked about it the easier it got to talk about and I you know I still think to this day we had no idea that that day would actually really be our last day on trail yeah. and another thing too that um, I realized it was just well I had gotten the new shoes what it was like a week prior to that so obviously yeah. if I if we knew or had any real inclination that we were getting on trail I wouldn't have spent another hundred and 55 yeah. bucks or 160 dollars on especially not on the shoes that i didn't even want but i needed yeah. um because i had to get the topos yeah because they didn't have the speed goats but also i had just ordered i want to say it was either two weeks or so maybe a little bit sooner than that our mm -hmm. our summer quilts from yeah. enlightened equipment so we really didn't realize that we were actually going to get off trail but it was one of those things that once we we spoke it out loud definitively it was it was so 100 percent definitive it was like yeah. yes we are done and we even looked at each other we're like this is really happening yeah like we're really getting off trail 
and we're 100% good with it. We're yeah. fine with it. So yeah, it was a very easy conversations, but I think that's just part of our relationship. We have a very easy relationship. Yeah, we tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next question. All right. Like you, I also live in Central Florida. Are you aware of any local heights that would be good uh, for AT practices? No, Zero. absolutely not. If you need some places to hike, definitely recommend Georgia or even Virginia to just get up your legs, keep yourself going, and then you can like uh, evolve to Georgia because Georgia is hard. Uh, that's where most Georgia's people quit hard, because yeah. it's just, you have no trail legs and then just straight out the bat, it's like really hard. It's so. hard, yeah. Um, yeah. I wish I could say yes. I wish I, because I always like to provide solutions and be more optimistic. Yeah. But if you are a fellow Flatlander, there is nothing. And listen, I did the stairs. I have a two story house and I walked those 14 <laughs> stairs up and down um, for weeks and weeks and weeks prior to starting the trail with my fully loaded backpack. Um, no, it that there's no trails around here it really the best advice I think which is what we did and I'm so proud to say that we stuck to our plan yeah. is to start slow yes, yes I think you should be walking outside I think you should be um, lifting weights strengthening your legs if you have stairs go ahead and walk them if not you mean yeah you can you can do that and I know for sure that that helped us but it I don't know that it really prepared because it was so really hard. Georgia was so really hard for us. Yeah. I mean, that was, and the climb out of North Carolina. Woo-wee! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> climb into North Carolina, out of Georgia, into North Carolina. Yeah, it, that was not fun. <laughs> it, no, it was not fun. And if I remember, for those of you saying we didn't tell you how hard it was, that was, I think, on Easter. Yeah, that was on Easter. Yeah. I remember hearing you cry. Yeah, I was crying, and I literally cried on camera, and I was, and I dedicated that, um, that physical struggle that day to God, right? Because it yeah. was Easter, and um, yeah, so that that was hard. So unfortunately, you know, our fellow Flatlanders, there really is nothing around here. No, I mean, go to Georgia. I mean, that's really the closest place we have that will really help prepare. I can only imagine if we lived in you know somewhere that had mountains, how much faster we could have taken yeah. off and <laughs> have felt better. But no, no, let's go. I guess you can just go to your local gym. Yeah, but even then, but like, it's just like it, it's, there's just so much to it. There's there's nothing like hiking in the mountains except for hiking in the mountains with yeah. a fully loaded pack. Yeah, with a fully loaded it. pack, chili or some water. Yeah. <laughs> okay, has spending eighty days on trail changed your opinion on backpacking on it anyway? I know prior to leaving, you mentioned you loved backpacking, and I'm curious whether your feelings have changed at all. Do you foresee yourself doing a multi-day hikes, AT or otherwise? Are you doing other trails that you're interested in exploring, or do we do hiking? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, well, that was the last question. The last question is, is do we have more backpacking planned? Yes. Yeah. Um, coming soon. You'll see. Yes, you'll see, and we can't wait to share that with you <laughs> because our family's coming. Yeah. But we'll talk about that another time. Um, really. So yes, we 100% still plan to backpack. Yeah, um, it has not changed my view of backpacking. I was yeah. in love with it before. I'm more in love with it now. Yeah. What I just know now is that being away from family for a long period of time is just not something that I'm interested in. It's not worth yeah. it to me. But I, I love backpacking. Too much. Too much. Yeah, six time. months is too much. Yeah. Well, I think when we were gone for three months, around three months or so, and then knowing we have another three, three and a half months to go, it was just like, mm -hmm. yeah. I love backpacking, but not more than being with our family. Yeah. But we have some fun stuff planned. And yeah. I will say, you know, we've been home for over a month now. I miss it so much. I miss a lot about the Appalachian Trail. I miss yeah. a lot about hiking with you. I miss a lot about, about the AT. Yeah. Um, I'm, I don't regret being home. I mean, I, I miss them way more than I miss that now, but I'm excited to get back out. I wish it wasn't summer because if it was summer, I would even settle with hiking in Florida right now, but you don't hike in summer in Florida. No, if you are trying to have a heat stroke and die, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or go just, ahead. Or just not, it's just not enjoyable. It's just really not enjoyable. And it's not really pretty either. No. It's just, Unless you like cows and yeah, you're going to love it here. Yeah. But even then. But know, I do miss it. Yeah. I definitely miss it a lot. Yeah. All right. Will you ever wear your hiking outfits again? Congratulations on your journey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, wear your hiking outfit again? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, my, my, um, I forgot the brand, Smart Wool shirt, for sure. Those are really expensive. Yeah. Um, and I love Smart Wool. So yeah, I will. The skirt, probably not. It, it just because it started to pile and kind of, kind of get all messed up and ugly. I mean, maybe. I don't uh, know. For sure, my shirt though, and for sure, darn tough socks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. I love my Speak Up Fives, the darn tough wool socks, especially the bare ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I had the Adidas skirt. I love that so much. It was so nice, and it had shorts underneath. Yeah. So even during night, if I didn't want to put on wet clothes in the morning, I would just put my like pajama pants over on top and just like leave my skirt hanging out. It looked a little goofy, but at least I didn't have to put on wet shoes in the morning because by the clothes. time wet clothes in the morning. Yeah. So yeah, that's something on trail. You don't really care what you look like anymore. No. It's all no. <laughs> it's all function over. Form. I mean, function yeah. over fashion for sure. Definitely. 110%. I was also wondering, you and both Little Bear, what is your biggest takeaway or lesson while you're in a trail? Um, that being away from family is not something I'm interested in for yeah, too long. Yeah, <laughs> definitely that. I've definitely learned that if you're in the right place, you can make a lot of friends. Yeah. So it's definitely that because friends are great. If you don't have friends, go get yourself some friends. And we are definitely two of them. Yeah, so sure. yeah, we love you guys. We're yeah. definitely friends. Mwah. Uh, yeah, it's you have to be in the right place to make right friends. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely don't want to be family for that long. Maybe a week or two, but probably not more than that. Mm -hmm. And I would even go as far as say I would be willing to leave for a month. Yeah, uh, but because a month it, it just goes by so fast, and when yeah. you know I'm only gonna be gone thirty days, that's just a whole different mindset. Yeah, but, that's true. But not not six months, not yeah. half a year. Yeah. So, what yeah. was the question? I was um, listening to your answers, but I actually I got so into your answers I forgot what the question was. What did we learn? Or okay, I'll say it again. I was also wondering what both you and Little Bear feel about your biggest takeaway or lesson you learned on trail. Oh, um, hmm, biggest takeaway that I love backpacking. That I yeah. love being outside. That I felt very comfortable out there. Um, not something that I learned. It was like I think the takeaway uh, that you really are capable of much more than you think you are when you think you're done. Meaning like you're you're you think that you're on your last whim of energy. That you're like okay, I, I'm done. I have to stop. I can't go anymore. That you're really not that you really have at least 50% more in the bank. Yeah. But I think there were several times where I was like, I am done. Like, I am purely exhausted. I have nothing left to go further. But either we had to for whatever reason, like that one time that we, there was nowhere to camp for like another three or four miles. I, if you would have said to me at that, that one particular point, you have to keep going, um, even though there was a campsite right next to us, I would have said, I can't. I really, I really believe that. But because there was literally nowhere to camp, we ca we had to we keep had walking. To. I mean, we were literally on the ridge, on a hillside. There was nowhere to put a tent. Um, even even in an emergency, there would have been nowhere to put a tent. It yeah. was literally like this, and then the trail, and then like this again. So there was nowhere to put a tent. Yeah. We went another, I think it was three or four miles that day, and that day ended up being one of our bigger days, one of our, our um, original first bigger days. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Um, and then it was at that point I was like, whoa, we're not pushing ourselves as much as we should be and right. could be because we're capable so much more. Including the max patch day. Yeah. Yeah. That day was hard. That day was hard. There was, there was so pushing. many hard days. Oh, my gosh. I was thinking coming out of Standing Bear, Ooh, coming geez. out of the NOC. There were so many really hard days. But what what we learned is that you just keep going one yeah. foot in front of the other. And when you think you're done, we finally got to a point where it stopped even being a question. Yeah. It's like, we're just going to do it. We're, okay, we have 15 miles we want to do today. And we, and we didn't even, towards the end, the last month or so, we were not even looking at the elevation gain and loss. Because like, it doesn't really matter. You're going to do it anyways. Exactly. We're like, whatever, we're going to do it anyways. And one foot in front of the other, you just keep going. Yeah. And even though you felt like your body was done, you felt like you were exhausted, um, you had so much more in the tank. So that's something that was, I think I knew that before, but going on trail, I, I didn't have confidence in that until we 
were forced to or we chose yeah. to push ourselves to. And then it got exciting. It's like, oh my gosh, we can do anything. Like Let's that, keep going. That one day where we were at this one cabin into Damascus, we were going to do like 12 miles that day. Mm-hmm. But then we was like, when we were chilling in the cabin, we were like, you know what? You want to do 21 miles? She said as a joke. And I was like, yeah, I, I was do. totally kidding. I was not <laughs> interested in doing, because at that point, I think our biggest miles was like per day. 18? No, I don't even think at that point we had done an 18. I think it was like 14, maybe 15. It'd be interesting to go back and, and relook yeah. at that to see. But yeah, and then jump straight, and go, straight up to a 21. <laughs> Which we did it. Yeah. But yeah. although that was like more of an easier hike, we still walked 21 miles, so. Yeah, well, the first half was not easy, but no. then, yeah, the last probably, what, eight or nine miles was definitely easier terrain, but it wasn't easy, and we still had a full pack, and yeah, that was great. That was exciting. So yeah, that, was exciting. that was a takeaway for me. And I think something that I learned is that truly it's it's David Goggins 40% rules. When yeah. you think you're done, you still have way more in, in the gas tank. So that was my answer. All right. Can you guys have a family section hike? Are you going to plan to finish this trail? What was the main reason other than family of why you've got off? You can answer that because I answered the last one. Okay. So no, I don't necessarily plan on finishing the trail from when we start off if i'm going to redo it i'm probably going to redo it when i'm older and just like finish the whole trail mm-hmm. because i feel like that'd be really fun to do mm-hmm. so just like by myself like with your own thoughts it'd be really great for like yeah growing in your life um yes we are planning some other hikes with our family mm-hmm. you will see quite soon I think. yeah in the section hikes that we eventually have planned I don't know how much more we're going to do past yeah. seven mile marker 758.8 because I think I shared with you guys that um, originally my husband and I were going to through hike together when we retired and then it just got to be to the point yeah. where I was like, I don't want to wait, you know, until it retires. So that's why, you know, you and I did it together, but he still wants to through hike and that is so exciting to yeah. me. Oh my goodness. And so I don't want to see much more without him. Yeah. So I already have the first 750, you know, miles down. I don't want to see much more without him. I want the rest of the time to be the first for both of us. So we may do a little bit more past 758. Or even do some, like redo some sections. That we don't yeah. Know. So I think we've talked more about that as potentially doing some sections that we loved. Yeah. And then having them experience that with us. So I think for sure we'll do that. Yeah. And then the last question was something about, um, I think basically was family really the only reason why we decided to come off trail? Uh, I would say yes. I was really homesick with Ellie. You guys know I love Ellie very much. In fact, she's underneath my bed right now. But <laughs> the real Ellie, like, not the pillow. The <laughs> real Ellie. The pillow's over there or somewhere. I don't know. So I actually don't know where the pillow is. I think it's on the other side of that thing. Probably. You should get it so they can see it. They haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, I'll look at it later. Maybe at the end of the video, just like the other ones. Okay. Okay, so. Do you feel um, like there are any other factors that um, made you want to come off trail? Uh, Probably not. I just really missed, I miss the routine and family every day. We have a great blessed life, you guys. Yeah. And I think that, you know, it's not that we didn't know that before we went on trail. Yeah, um, it's just. It's in a different way that you would miss mm-hmm. family that you didn't think you would miss them in. Yeah, that's true. That makes sense. It's true. And for me, there was no other reason. You know, we've had a couple people say, just admit it, it was too hard for you guys. It wasn't. I mean, it really was <laughs> like, like, you guys, you well, guys, some of you guys were definitely commenting of how we were just improving every single day. Yeah. You know how you saw it from day one to day 84 yeah. where we got off. You just, you guys started just saying that, like, you've seen us grow. And we were continuing to grow. We were yeah. planning on doing higher miles. Mm-hmm. We were definitely getting, we were getting to where a good through hiker should be. Yeah, if, for sure. So it's yeah. it was not too hard at all. I would I promised I would tell you if it's too hard because I know that maybe other kids maybe want to do this trail and yes, there's gonna be some hard days, yeah. but just keep your mindset in the right place. Don't think about home if it's a hard day. I promise it's just gonna make it way worse. Yeah, it does. And keep yourself in a happy place almost constantly. Even if it's just about the little things like Oh yay! I got a rice be Chris. I got a rice krispie treat for lunch. Like, <laughs> make do a little video about that and like keep it in your memories. Keep keep it going. Don't don't stay back. Don't be like, oh, I miss family today. Uh, I just I just want to stop today. Like, yeah. I miss family too much. You gotta keep going. 
Yeah, but I, but I would say be honest with yourself too, because we could have taken that advice, right? Yeah. We could have just kept saying, okay, we're gonna forget, you know, about missing family, and we're gonna put that, you know, in the back burner, and we're not gonna honor those feelings. We could have done that, and we yeah. could have completed the trail. I have no doubt in my mind that we were capable of that. And I think anybody that you guys ask that actually hiked with us and actually know us and have seen us on trail um, would have said the same thing, but. I think being honest with yourself and being true to yourself of what your real priorities are, even yeah. if they change, is really important because to do something just because you said you would, and and I'm not talking about like integrity and things like if I say I'm going to do a job and I need to do the job or something yeah. like that. We're talking about this was a vacation. This was a recreational adventure yeah. activity. This was not something that had bigger meaning other than for us if yeah. if we were doing if, if like something depended on us to finish this hike like if I don't know um like if like if somebody uh, a charity or something was yeah. going to get a ton of money if we finished this hike that would have been different yeah because that would have been like we need to put our sad feelings for family aside because there's something bigger than us that we're walking for yeah but we weren't walking for anything other than adventure yeah and so other I think, than just like the pure fun yeah and the pure hard yeah so. yeah oh, for sure yeah and so I think that to be honest with yourself and to honor yourself and your true feelings and to be true to yourself regardless of what people are going to say to you regardless of 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 their opinions because at the end of the day it's only going to be you out there knowing how you really feel yeah. just you know make sure that you make the decision that you know you really feel um is right which is why we took a few days off trail yeah before we really really just drove home so yeah i mean for sure it's hard but if you really want it you, you got it 100 percent. if you really put your mind to it you can do really anything that you want yeah I okay agree. you guys are fantastic yay for doing what's right for you <laughs> question Thanks. did you meet other kids on <laughs> trail such through hike or section on hiking uh we met this one kid. It's a pretty bad story. You guys should know it by already. They don't because I never shared all of it. Wow. I didn't share that with them. Oh. Well, yeah, we saw one kid. <clears throat> Just one singular kid. And I think that's it. So we don't leave you guys going, wait, what are they talking about? Um, it, it, I'm not going to get into it because I do want to protect uh, the privacy yeah. of the child, even though it would be anonymous and there would be no name shared. But the long story of that is back in Georgia, those of you who have been following us from the beginning, if you remembered, there was an issue with a man on trail who kind of freaked out and um, became very aggressive and yeah. he had a kid with him. Um, so that's all we'll say about that because yeah. um, from what I understand, that issue has been resolved and we are actually continuing to pray both for the man and for um, the child? child yeah yeah and we did see a couple younger kids section hiking but but they weren't they were more like probably 21 22. well a couple of them were maybe like 15 14 15 oh yeah that one towards girl. the end yeah and then toward oh yeah her and then towards the end there was yeah. those uh, those boys with her dad so but I, not very many i think we've seen like three kids the entire trail yeah there wasn't very many so oh and the one boy that we met with the family we put them on video yeah, I think that was the third one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so just three children. Uh, you won't find much kids on trail unless you bring them yourself. So, yeah, there's there's not much kids on trail. Yeah. <laughs> not of my knowledge. If... Not that we saw any. No, not that we saw. Okay, I have a question for a little bit. Did you learn something from your mother during your walk with Mama Bear to discover something new that you didn't know about her? So, honestly... I didn't know that you were this I mean obviously I knew that you were a great mother but jeez you're like you're like right here already well you can't see like right here <laughs> but she just went like doop, doop, just like Thanks. way higher than I thought because I already knew that you're a great mother and I'm not like like saying anything bad but like you were just so great to me that entire trail I'm so thankful for you thanks yeah, that was nice of you. Oh gosh, I got the main tear up. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, cut the cameras. <laughs> okay, move on. <laughs> that was very nice to hear, though. I'm crying. I'm gonna cry. I know. Oh crap, I'm gonna cry. And I actually have 
uh, mascara on <laughs> which I'm not used to having on for a while. I can't read right now, it's blurry. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Very sweet. Monster, can you can't see? <laughs> I can't see when I look down, so I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. I'd like to know what two things you learned from yourselves during this lyric attempt. Not about hiking, but also Little Bear mentioned any the announcement that she was kind of bored. The hiking in NE, NH, VT, and ME is more. What? Do you want to read that one? Um, okay. I'd like, to know, I'd like to know what are two things you learned about yourselves during the through hike attempt. Not about hiking, so about ourselves. Yeah. And then also, Little Bear mentioned in the ending announcement that she was kind of bored. The hiking in the northern states, essentially, is what she's saying, is much more varied. Any potential for going backpack there, not through hiking, just backpacking. I'd love to see Little Bear, Little Bear tackle those climbs. She has such grit. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I would love to hike. Um, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would love to hike in some of those places for sure. Yeah. And, I am really excited about eventually hiking there. It might be when my husband and I attempt to through hike at once we retire in about six years. Um, I don't know if we'll make it there before then. I mean, I think I'm open to it. I think yeah. it would be fun. Definitely think it'd be fun. And we love rock scrambles. So yeah, like that, that, we were really looking forward to. Yeah. Don't like the tiny rocks though. That will hurt your feet, but yeah. the big ones. Yeah, well. Uh, Not necessarily Dragon Tooth. That was like three miles. Dragon's Tooth, man. That was ah. not one of my favorite hikes. Um, and then the two things that you learned about yourself during the Okay, hike. two things I learned about self is I am very, if I put my mind to something, like there's nothing stopping me from doing it unless I make myself stop. For sure. Because 100%. Like, I, was, I was just so focused on like going Georgia for me, like I can do this, like it will help me within my life. And I didn't realize that even just like the 80 days, how much I could improve, like mentally strong, strengthening my mental strength. Yeah. Like hard things. I do hard things even harder now. Yeah. <laughs> even with like the exercises, I do them harder because. Because you know you can. Yeah, because I know I can. So. Yeah, increased confidence for sure. Yeah, definitely increased confidence. And that was one. Now, there's cat treats on the floor. I know. Okay. Ellie has a little <laughs> cat treats kind of everywhere. Okay. <laughs> but uh, thing number two. Uh, yeah. I don't really know. I don't know for me that I really learned anything about myself. Um, mm -hmm. Other than the fact that missing family would 100% prove to be my kryptonite. Yeah. Um, but I don't think really, I'm, I'm not really surprised about that. I talked about that a lot before we even left. So I don't know that I learned anything about myself. I mean, I like to challenge myself. I like to do hard things. It's just been kind of my personality since my mom will say coming out of the womb. So, um, yeah, I don't really think I learned anything about myself that I didn't already know. Yeah. Maybe things are reinforced, but yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Let's see. I'm going to miss you both. I really love that you shared your faith so often. Thank you. And it was yeah. a pleasure to do so. Proud Christian. <laughs> yeah, amen. I have a question regarding your tent. Did you love it? Will you keep using it? Yes. Yeah. Um, the Tiger Wall UL3, which is what we had, was 100% a rock solid, amazing tent. Yeah. It was roomy. It was easy to put up with. Yeah. It was super storm worthy, as you guys saw. Um, well, and it was the lighter version of Big Agnes's Copper Spur UL3, yeah, which is another amazing, awesome tent. But it is a lighter version of that because it's semi freestanding. So absolutely, would purchase it over and over and over again, and we will continue to use it as we continue going forward backpacking. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I have another question. Do you think you'd ever attempt a through hike again? And if so, do you think you would prepare your own dehydrated meals and then ship them to the different location? And she goes on to say that there's a couple that has a new book out. Um, yeah, we've talked about my husband and I wanting to through hike together once we retire. Yeah, and, I definitely want to through hike again too. Yeah, and whether you go with us or you go yeah. before and you know on your own, we'll, that will remain to be seen. Yeah. Um, and would I prepare my own dehydrated meals now? And I hate to say this because... Honestly, it may be nice to have like a home-cooked meal. It may be, but here's what I learned and here's something that I don't think we've shared and I don't even know 
I think somebody down the line has asked about resupply boxes. I can't remember. Um, but I sort of, a little bit, regret. Um, oh, sorry. I just got a notification, guys, and I was like, what is that saying? Um, I sort of regret a little bit making the 12 boxes. And here's oh, why. Yeah. One, I have still probably eight or nine of yeah. them. Or, no, I'm not probably not eight or nine. I think I have like seven. eight or seven. Yeah, yeah, still in my closet. Um, but I should have listened a little bit better. I Okay, I don't regret sending certain things we couldn't get on trail. And there were certain things like Element. Yeah. Um, the, the electrolyte mix. Um, you can't buy that in store. So I loved having that come to us. I loved having like our vitamins, um, some supplements, those things come to us. I don't regret that. Yeah. But the truth is I got, we both got so sick of mm -hmm. the same food. And so yeah. we're like, it, it's definitely true when you want what you want, period. You want what you want and you want it when you want it. Yeah. And so knowing that you had stuff coming in, you know, your, your box you're like oh, i have to eat that right because we paid money for it and then there it was it was yeah. so much more fun being able to go to the grocery store and we like, supply with out. exactly what you wanted yeah. and i think probably from a nutrition perspective i think there's something that has to do with often what we crave sometimes our bad craving and that's not good yeah. i know but often i think sometimes we crave what we need and so yeah yeah i i think um so to, so to say i would dehydrate my own meals beforehand now that's all so much work and yeah. you really don't know what you want until the day that you're going to resupply. Yeah. <laughs> and that was just a little bit more fun to be able to pick what we wanted. So yeah. no. Um, Mama Bear, do you have any interest in finishing the trail eventually? Yes, with my husband and about anywhere between five to seven years, whenever our retirement comes up, we definitely want to do that together. And yeah. that's going to be an epic adventure <laughs> together. He's, he's also my best friend, so I yeah. can't wait. Um, also, what was your first day back home like oh so there's other questions so first day back home what was it like for you it was absolutely amazing so we came in and my sister was sleeping my brother's playing guitar mm -hmm. so my brother and my dad here they already know mm -hmm. so we came in my brother was playing guitar and my sister was sleeping and she she woke up she's like <laughs> she was, she so was confused. She was so confused. She was also tired. Well, both sisters were sleeping. Remember, yeah. Jaden came from downstairs. Also, Jaden thought it was a prank, and we were because we came home like close to Father's Day, so like they thought that we were coming home for like Father's Day. And she was like, "What are you guys doing here? This is a prank, right? Like you guys are home." And they were like, "Yeah, home. yeah." They were shocked. Yeah. They were shocked that we decided to quit the trail. Yeah, because a lot of people were, including ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, for me, it was just amazing. It was yeah, just, it was great. It was surreal. It was awesome to sit with everybody around and yeah. us just fellowship and talk and laugh and be goofy like we are. The six of us just are great <laughs> together. The dogs and the cat running around, like that was amazing. Sitting in our own furniture, sleeping back in our own bed, like it was just. I definitely teared up when I saw Ellie though. Yeah. I was like, Ellie. Yeah, and I didn't video any of that. I know some people wanted to see that reunion of, you know, us with our family plus us, you know, with Ellie and yeah. the adult, but I just wanted to keep that as more sacred and more authentic and just something that, you know, will live in our hearts forever. Yeah. Also, like, this is like a little, like, extra thing, but when I came home, I was walking through the door and I went to the living room and then I saw Ellie sitting in the kitchen and she was like, she was just standing there, so I went to walk towards her, and she started running away because she runs away sometimes. And she looked back at me and kept on running. <laughs> she was confused. <laughs> she was like, "What are you doing home?" <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really you. <laughs> okay, so what was your first home meal? Home meal? Uh, I can't remember. I have no idea. Ah, uh, I made enchiladas, but I don't think that like was a, a first home meal. I made chicken wings. No. That wasn't the first home meal. Ah, uh, jeez, I didn't remember what we ate that night. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. Do you think about the trail every day? Uh, probably like once a week. <laughs> yeah, I think about it every day. Um, and not necessarily in a sad way, but more of a, wow, that was really cool. And yeah. I, I got to do that. Um, and I hopefully get to do it again with my husband. You know, yeah. In six or seven years. So, yeah, I think about it often. Um, did your pets, pets remember you? Yes. Yes. And Phoenix was, she was going crazy. Yeah. Like she was like, she doesn't have a tail. So like her butt she's was wagging. She's yeah, a she's a, she's, she's a nub. <laughs> yeah. 
And then like, Kira, I can't remember what Kira was. Yeah, she was excited. She was like running around, yeah. running, running through us all. And then once Phoenix being excited, there's like their energy just crashed together. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, it, the energy in our home was just awesome. It was and then great. Salem too. Yeah. And to be honest, even though it's been however many weeks now that we've been home, that every now and then we'll look at each other and we're like, oh my God, we're really home. Yeah. We're really home. And that has been an adjustment. That has been, for me, a huge adjustment of n not having to get up and do so much physical work um, as you were doing, you know, when you're hiking 15 miles or so in the mountains, um, plus just, just processing. It's been it's been an adjustment for sure for me. Yeah. I think it seems like more for me than it has been for you. But I also have a ton more responsibility that I have to kind of jump back into. But yeah. Um, what kind of pillows are you using? Uh, it's a Flex Tail Zero pillow. Uh, do we have the same ones? Yeah. We have the okay. Same yeah, we have the same ones. Yep, and we both like them. It's, yeah. It's super lightweight. I'll I'll include that in the gear video that we do. And it looks like that was the last question. So. I know this video is long. When I edit it down, I think it's still going to be probably over an hour. 45. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, anything else you want to add that maybe wasn't asked or that as you're thinking you wanted to expound on a little bit further? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. I don't think so either. It's yeah. nice seeing you guys again. Yeah, it is really <laughs> nice. It is really nice. And... Um, we have traveled since we've been home yeah. with uh, my other two daughters, and so we'll have that video up pretty soon. Pretty soon. And then... We'll work on the gear video yeah. as well, um, and then have that up for you guys to ask questions about, and we'll do our best to answer any questions that we can help you with. But we want to thank you guys again so much for all of your support and your kindness and your prayers. I mean, being able to share this journey with you guys was actually, now that I'm talking about it out loud, was actually one of my highlights. Yeah. It was really neat knowing that not only was I sharing this with our family who were, who were watching the videos, of course, and we were preserving the memories for you and I, um, but it was really neat to know that there were thousands of other people that were following along with us. and. I'm, I'm really honored that so many of you over yeah. you know, at the point of, of sharing the videos, it was nearly 9,000. And so I'm really thankful that so many of you were supporting us and following along with us. And it made it even more exciting for me because remember everything we recorded was things that we wanted to remember. Yeah. But there were definitely a couple of times where I was like, oh, people like when we show this and this is really cool. Yeah. Um, I want I want them to experience this. I want them to share. And so many of you have expressed the inability to be able to hike or to ever really yeah. get on the Appalachian Trail for medical reasons or just other reasons that you know are preventing you. And so it was an honor to be able to bring you with us. Yeah. And I'm really thankful that um, you were able to share this journey with us and yeah yeah that to me was definitely a highlight and I know that a lot of that um, really played into us being committed to continuing our daily vlog because it was just cool to have you guys yeah walk with us as yeah. our online family so yeah I think that's that's really what I wanted to touch on um, thank you so much for all yeah, of your you support guys. I hope that you guys We'll stick around. Yeah. We have many more adventures coming up. We have decided and our family, um, well, at least the girls and my husband, my son won't be able to travel a whole lot with us here and there maybe, but we want to continue this channel. We want to yeah. continue the Wildflowers Adventures channel um, because we love traveling. We yeah. love adventures. And um, it's just fun. It's just fun yeah. to explore the world and explore <laughs> the things that God has given us to yeah you know, partake in. And so we hope that you guys continue following along with us. And if there's things you would like to see, if there were places that you would like us to go, um, yeah, yeah, we would love to have yeah. some ideas. We definitely have some things already planned, already booked, um, for the rest of the year between, um, in a couple of weeks, all the way till the end of December. And so that's exciting. Stay tuned for those announcements. But if there are things that you would like to see us do, yeah. places you would like to see us go, please drop that comment below. 
because we could use the ideas too. Yeah. That'd be super fun. And it doesn't have to be, so the, the channel intend, was intended to be an adventure channel, right? Um, like you said in the last video, it wasn't intended to be just the Appalachian Trail yeah. um, channel. It's an adventure channel. So, you know, if you guys have ideas, it doesn't have to be, you know, another big through hike or it doesn't even have to be hiking or backpacking or camping. Maybe you want to see a local theme park around here that you're thinking about going to or just want to see us experience and or I don't know it, it could be even day adventures that yeah. hey I've heard there's a really cool botanical gardens can you guys go and check that out yeah the answer is yeah. probably yes and so whether it's local or whether it's out of the state we would love to hear some of the places yeah. you guys would like to see us go so thanks again yeah for stay everything. tuned for new adventures and thank you guys for watching to the end of the video yeah love and light to you all and we'll see you soon bye bye as promised for old time's sake here's ellie <laughs> and then here's actual ellie see ya.